In this tribal village in southern India, babies, especially female babies, are often seen as nothing but a burden. Another mouth to feed with not much return on that investment. And their mothers are among the poorest of the poor in India, illiterate, struggling to keep food in the house. To stop these mothers from abandoning, selling or killing their girls, the local self-help group here provides money for milk and food. Cora Buji has a 10-month-old daughter, Kara, and four other children. I gave the baby away and the police brought her back, and they promised to get the group to help me. Suvi Nenawath is the mother of six-month-old Rupa. When my baby was born, I was thinking about giving her away, but I was stopped. A woman from the group said they would provide milk for her one liter every day. Just a few miles away, another self-help project makes small loans to female farmers. Money for a daughter's marriage, a new cow, or seeds. Mangama Chetakunta borrowed 5,000 rupees to send her seven and eight-year-old daughters to school to learn English. And it is because I got some benefits, which helped me in my farming to make medicines. Sitting under a neem tree, the women explain how the small loans have helped their families. Jyoti Kasareddy is also using the loan to pay for school for her girls. From this program, I took a loan of 10,000 rupees for my children's education. There are women's self-help groups in every village in the state. 600,000 such groups in Andhra Pradesh alone, reaching 8 million women, nearly 90 percent of the state's rural poor. This group provides training to 519 disabled people from 42 villages. The people here are encouraged to engage in the community, and the community is encouraged to engage with them. Bagalachmi Andrew's daughter, Ashwini, gets therapy to strengthen her muscles and her attention span. With the help of the self-help group, I am able to take my daughter to hospital every month. The goal of the self-help groups is not to just help raise women up. In the next few years, members of groups like these hope to also erase the stigma and discrimination that others, like women themselves, outside of society have felt for generations. I'm Allison Schaefer reporting.